welcome back all of you to the uh, next session on this uh, fusion order management implementation nana here and then uh, we are proceeding ahead also so today we are going to see the ship set arrival set and then the fulfillment set now <clears throat> as uh, vijay pointed out uh, what happens is that this is now going to be released only in the month of july actually so uh, when the oracle releases the third quarter release that is on 11.13.19.07 uh, what happened the ship set and arrival set and fulfillment set are going to come out now but oracle has already provided a workaround for this one. so it is not there but a workaround is there so we are going to see that workaround actually <clears throat> we'll go there and then we'll now log in now Mm. Go there and then open up this one. <clears throat> Before which, you know, go to the records. And then the one fine, I don't know, bring it over here. Now. <clears throat> there is on the ship set actually. Shipping variance option two options credit check. So, pretty much pick me off. Custom check options are on the list. Credit check, uh, manual holds, rolls and releases. Uh, what is the file card here? Ship set. Substitute credit check. Substitute financial organizations with pick model complete for yeah this one. <clears throat> so the one I don't take probably complete. So the pick model complete we are going to see the point where that you put it on space. I'll go back one. So the pick model complete is a workaround for the ship set actually. Ship set is a very important one, and so they have provided a workaround for this one. This is how it works. So pick model complete for simulating the subject. So we are going to create three items now. Fine. First item is what? A B01 uh, desktop monitor now. Fine. Let me take a take it out. Take off it. So let me create the item over here now. We'll go to this place. So let us go to the product management and then go to the product information management and then let us now start to create the items now. So click on it. And then go to the create item. I am in D010. Go there. It's a D01 and then zero. <clears throat> so item class is root item class. Click on OK. I'll put the item over here now. So let me change it to what is a D01. So I take the copy of it now. Put in the description. So this item <clears throat> fine, will now have to make it as what? Uh, uh, the pick model complete actually. Fine, no orders. Pick model complete. I'm going to make it now. Fine, with that. So there are orders. They go there. Go to the specifications now. Fine, click on the specifications and then go to the sales and order management. Now. So click on the sales and order management. So here I will now make it as what the pick model complete. Ship model. Sorry, it is not a pick model. It is a ship model complete. Now, fine, basically, uh, I have wrongly written over here. Now, fine, make a change of this. Now it is not a pick model complete. It is a ship model complete actually. So I will now make it as a yes. <coughs> So ship model complete is now yes. And then if you go and then give a save, no, it will not accept at all. So give a save. What happens for ship model to be complete? What happens? It has to be what the uh, what's called the pick components must be yes. If the pick components must be set to yes, then only what happens? The ship model complete time done now. So if it is not done, it will not be working at all. Fine, click on OK now. The pick components must be set to yes, then only what happens? The ship model can be complete actually. Fine, with that. So it is the same thing in EBS also. Now I go to the uh, what's called you go there, go to the <clears throat> the pick uh, what happens. I go to the manufacturing now, click on the manufacturing, and now I will now make the pick components as what yes. So I'm making it as a yes now. Fine, go there, give a save now. Fine. So I'm now saving it. Now we'll now see what happens. Now. <clears throat> so I first made that one, and then what happens? I know it. Sometimes what happens, it doesn't work at all. So what happens when you do it next time? What happens? It will not work. So what you have to do is and the first instance itself, what happens? You have to make this now. Fine, you go to the manufacturing. The pick component must be set to yes. Then afterwards, you have to do it now. Fine. Some, sometimes it gives an error actually. Fine, is okay. Now, pick components is yes. And then the ship model is also complete now. Pick component no, and ship model is yes. Fine, go there. Go to the assign. Fine, go to the associations and then let me associate. It's a child now. So go to the associations and then go to the actions and then go to the select NAT. And then we are now associating our child or Fine, go there. D011 is a one. And then now, this is a child or. Select it and click on apply and then click on done now. 
it's all done under that. So item is now created. I will not give a save and close. So maybe what happens? The desktop monitor is an item. I can't save and close. Now, what happens is that I will be having a, another item now. Fine. It's called a keyboard and mouse. So let us not take copies of it. Now we have it. the keyboard and mouse. Fine. So take a copy right now. You click on create item. Let us now create the keyboard and mouse. So it's a B, uh, it's a D zero one zero. It's a root item class. With a click on okay. So paste it over here. It's a D zero one keyword on the mouse. So take a copy of it and then put it in the place. <coughs> and then I'll go there, go to the specifications. And then I go to the manufacturing first, and then I make the pick component as yes, no, fine. I go to the manufacturing now. So make the pick component as yes, no. This is a prerequisite for ship model complete, now fine. Remember, a PTO model uh, can, can be what happens. You have to have this, now fine. Uh, the ship model complete with the pick component as yes. If it is an ATO model, we cannot have a pick component as yes. So go to the sales and order management. And then here, what happens? I go there and then make the ship model complete as yes, no. Okay, no that's it. And then I go to the associations and then what happens? We associate the checkbox. So click on actions and then go to self command. So it's D011, enter in now. Choose it and then click on apply and then done fine. The second item is also ready now. It's all done now. So you go there, go to the save and close now, by which whatever we are not done. Keyboard and mouse is also done. Now we will now create a PTO model. So to do this, what happens? Your uh, ship, uh, what happens? Ship set. Uh, they have provided this workaround. Uh, it's again a very lengthy one, and then uh, they are asking us to wait till July. So in the July month, what happens? It will all be coming up now. And go there. Now I will make a PTO item for this. <clears throat> so it is a D zero one zero. It's a root item class. <clears throat> go there. Click on it. And click on OK now. Let me change now. Okay. And then the item is what? It's a and uh, what's called D01. I will now say uh, uh, PTO. <clears throat> I will now say uh, desktop. Uh, what I do not mean. So it's a PTO desktop model. So we now have this now. So we now have the PTO desktop model. It's a PTO model, remember. So I'll not take away from it. I'm not going to apply a template of PTO model. So click on it. And then here, uh, oh God, I have made a mistake now by applying the finished good template. Now I'm going to let us now let me take a copy of it and then I'll cancel it. And then cancel it and then apply a PTO model template. <clears throat> and then mistake now. So click on this task carousel and then you go there and then click on create an item now. And we're not creating a new item. This is the PTO model item now. Find the D01. Uh, put it down fine with the item class, the root item class. So here I will now remove this template now, fine. Bring it out, and then here I will now put the video model template on you know, The video model template. So video model template. So video model template. Okay, okay now. Then afterwards I will now paste the borders. So video model template is not applied. So you bring it out and then bring the video model template on you know. Now done. And then I will now paste it over here now. Then paste it over here now. And then no need to have any other templates now, basically. Fine. Here, what happens when you paste this template? This template is not the PDO model, is not having many of these attributes, basically. So we have to fill up those things now. The items is a mandatory one, it is not there. I want to make it so because since we are not set up this PDO model for this now fully life cycle phase, I will not use one of the life cycle phase. I will not say this one. Remember, a life cycle phase is only informative as far as uh, the basic license of product catalog, product license is concerned. When you go for a product catalog and then product hub, it will be having a meaningful one. Go down. And then having done this, what happens? You go there. In the specifications, what are the primary units of matter as we done? Fine. I will not, we have a kilogram here now. Kilogram. I'm not putting it on. So I'm using a kilogram. <clears throat> Click on search now. So let me put the kilogram in there. That's it. So after having applied the template, what happens? You ensure that what happens? These attributes are not set over here properly. And then what happens? You go there and then give a save. At this time, I'm going to give a save. So I will now save it. The item is now created in the master. Now we are going to create the structure actually. 
the PDO model structure we are going to create in now. And go there. Go to the structures now directly. Click on the structures and then go there. Click on actions and then create now. We are going to create it. Create a structure now. So this model is going to have these two structures now and go there. What else? So make it as a primary. So it's a primary structure now. And then click on apply and add details. And click on apply and add details. Maybe which what happens is now getting error now. Go there. No, no. Go there. For which what happens? I'm going to add the components of what? Both the uh, components of and go to actions and then go to select manual. So the first component is what? Uh, we made the first item as what? Uh, desktop and then the next is the keyboard. So it's a D01 underscore D and then give a search now. So there's no coming fine. Select it and then click on OK. So that means what happens is no getting added now. So there is no added now. If you give an expansion, what happens is you don't see this now. This is what else? No, no. In this place, we have added now. So again, I will not keep it on the parent now. And go there. Click on actions and then select and add now. It's a single level bill. So go there. <clears throat> and then click on search now. For it's a D01 key now. D01 underscore KE. And then make a search now. The keyboard and mouse. So one is the desktop and monitor, one is the keyboard and mouse. Fine, click on apply and then click on OK. By which what happens, sir? The PTO model structure is now ready. Fine, it's a desktop a PTO model. It has got a desktop monitor. And then what happens, the keyboard and mouse, and that's ready. Fine, click on done now and close the commit. Now, what happens if we normally common it to the child, but here it is not required at all because you know, going to use this model only for a ship set. And so what happens, the commoning is not required. So we can directly go and then assign it and go to the actions and then you go to what. Uh, no, one second. Uh, you know, come out of it now and go to the what's called overview area. Find the primary one is there and go to the, go to the overview area and then there, <coughs> the, go to the specifications server. Once again, in the associations, server. They go to the associations and then here, whatever they go to actions and then here, select and add and then assign to the child. Now. No need to common it actually. Only when the bill, uh, what happens, has to be uh, what happens, designed in the design and engineering, drawing and engineering department, then only what happens, you have to common it. Now, here we are going to use it for a simple ship set on. I click on that. And that's it. So now what happened? The bill is now ready. <clears throat> the PTO model bill is ready. It just got two components on this. And then it's assigned to the child. So click on save and close now. Now let us now keep a stock of this one. Now let us now go and keep a stock of it. <clears throat> so click on it now and go there. Boom, boom. And then we'll now keep a stock of it. So click on it and then we'll now keep a stock of it now. <clears throat> you go to the inventory. And then go there and then click on create miscellaneous transaction. So the organization is a D011 and then give OK now. That will be coming on the top now. So click on it and then I will now put M and then give a tap. <coughs> it's a miscellaneous receipt now. Click on OK now. And then I will now put a junk account over here now. Is a 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000 is available. And go there. So this has to be obtained from the financials before you proceed on this now. I click on plus now. And then we are going to go and then populate our items over here. So the item is D01 <coughs> and then what happens underscore uh, uh, desktop B and then give a tab now. The desktop, the, choose the desktop, <coughs> the desktop computer, and not the model. Model is a logical one, you don't have any stock at all. And go there. I will not keep some stock of this. Drop it down. And then put in the FGS sub inventory. And then I will not have a stock of, let us say, some stock. Click on plus now, and then I will now have the keyboard and mouse also as a stop. So click on it. It's a D01 underscore key, and then give a tab now. So go there and drop it down, and then you go to the FGS now. So this also, I will now keep a sufficient stop. And that's it. Fine. Now the simulation is now done. Now what we are going to do is once when you book a sales order, if I send only a desktop on monitor to him, the keyboard and mouse is not sent to him. What the customer can do with the, with the desktop and monitor, he can only do a ching chong bhajanai. Nothing else he can do. So without a keyboard and mouse, he cannot operate it. You'll now become angry. Ah, what is this here? You're going to part ship one. So in such cases, what happens? You will now see that you ship them together only. You will not make a part shipment at all. So this is what the ship set is going to achieve now. Find a very important one. And then, uh, so they have now provided a workaround like this now. This one. Fine, go there. Click on submit now. So, by which, what happens? The stock is ready. 
and then we are now ready in a position to make a sales order. But unfortunately, what happens is we have to do the collections as well as refresh now and go there. Let us now start our collections. Click on it now. So this is now done. And go there. Go to the supply chain and then go to the plan imports and then let us now perform a collection for this. One. So click on it. And then here, and then go there. Go to collect planning data. So we are going to perform a collection for this one. Go there. Drop it down. And then go to OPS. So what we are going to collect is in the static data, we will now collect only the items now. And, go there. and then you go to the supply planning data and then in the dynamic data, I'm going to collect the order. And the only two things has got changed now. So these two things has to be collected as well as a refresh now. And go there. Click on it now. And go there. Click on something. Sir, item structure, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Structure is also required. Good. Who is this? <laughs> okay, sir. Ah, okay, okay, fine. Structure is also required because it's having a structure now. Okay, I will now wait for some time and then afterwards again come back and then do the collection again. No mind because I already <laughs> done the run. I don't want to run it immediately actually. I'm good. So I had to do the item structure collection also. Structure also has to be collected again because we have a structure also. So in the meantime, what happens? We'll now go and then simulate this and then see but how it is now done in EBS now. In EBS. We'll go there. So go to the inventory and then go up and see. go to the items and then go to the master items. Let me create the items. <clears throat> go there. It's a D01 underscore uh, disk. Underscore what up is a mon or no put as a disk mon. Take copy it now and then put the description on. And then I will now apply a template over here now. Fine. The purchase data template is applied and go there. And then what happens is give a save and then I will now assign it to the child dog. Alt T and then go assign it to the child dog and go there. No, no. We'll now come back. No need to put any uh, what happens in the order management. We have a what's called a this thing there, but uh, what happens it has got functionality in three places basically. If you go there, if you go to the order management. So we have a ship model complete is there now. Ship model complete is there. It is not required for each and everything. It's not required now. So we can even control it some other place basically. So this one, control down arrow. And then I will now make another item of find whether it's a key mouse. Find key underscore mouse. Take copy it now. And then put on the description now. And then we will now again apply a template all TC and then purchase item template. Find commit and then all T and then O and then assign it to the organization. <clears throat> so it is now assigned. No need to have any model at all. Go there. Let us now keep the stock on this now. You go to the inventory, <clears throat> you go to the transactions, and then go to the miscellaneous transaction now. So let us now keep a sufficient stock of this now. So we will now make a miscellaneous receipt for this now for these two items, and then we'll now keep sufficient stock and go there. It's a M percentage RE and then give a tab now. Right? It's a miscellaneous receipt and go there. Put a junk account, control L, M, enter, alt R, and then go there. Go to the D01 and then percentage what happens? It's a uh, what's called desktop D and then give a tab now. And then I will now keep it on stores. Fine, go there. Some huge stock now, fine. Jiggy, 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 jiggy. Fine, down arrow. And then I will now have D01 underscore. What up is the key and then most. Now, fine. Percentage and then go tab now, fine. It's a shift F5 and then copy the previous field and then go there. And then we'll have sufficient stock. Also. So we'll now go there and then we'll now see what, how it's all controlled as far as ship set is concerned. Fine. Close it now, close it. And then we're going to see how it's being controlled. So if you go to the shipping <clears throat> and then you go to the setups and then here you go to this place now. If you go to the what's called grants and roles definitions, right? Here, this is the only thing which is having a role-based access actually. Right? The none of the things in EBS is having a role-based access. So we are now going to see the defined roles now. Fine. My user operations, we go there once again. We'll now go on and have a look at the one. We'll now go to the grants now. Fine. We'll now see for my operations user. Fine. OPE, once again. It's a OPE REA percentage. And then query for it now. Fine. We query for it. It will not show you once again. It's all capital OPE. Sir, navigation, please, sir. Huh? Okay, I'll again show you one second. So we have got an upgrade role for this one. This is the navigation one. Shipping setup grants and roles definitions grants. So for this user, what happens? A role has been granted. So upgrade role has been granted. So we'll now query the upgrade role. What are the activities you can do on the shipping area? Go to the place. Go to the defined roles now. Fine. Let us now query the upgrade role. Is a UPG percentage. Let me query it now. So there is a navigation one. Shipping setup, grants and roles, reference, different roles. So he can do this many activities, assign freight cost, firm routing, launch pick list, etc. etc. The other things you cannot do now. There are four entities are there trip stops, and then one is deliveries, and then one is lines and areas, and then one is the general one. And then in the message area, if you go there, what happens if you go there? And then go to the ship, ship confirmation. Here, what happens if you break this it's a big set? What happens? It's not going to give you only a warning. If the ship set is broken, what happens? It'll be giving you a warning. <clears throat> Go there, present now. Fine. Go and then we will now have one more item now. Fine. Go there. Go to the item for the warranty. Fine. Go there. Go to the place. Go to the items and then go to the master items and then let us create one more item for warranty actually. Fine. Go there. It's a D01. I will now say extended warranty. <coughs> extended warranty. I'm going to 
I'm going to take off weight now, sir. Oh, that's now. And then I'm applying a simple template now. <clears throat> yeah, purchase item template is now getting applied. And remember what happens, it is now basically it is a stockable, transactable, everything, but I'm not going to do anything at all. We are only going to treat it as what? Only as a warranty item, only billable item, but it doesn't matter, fine. So the system does not sense these attributes, whereas in Fusion, what happens, everything is attribute specific actually. I'm going to coming. Now let us now make a sales order for this. So we'll go to the order orders and returns and then go to the sales orders. Now we are going to get a new sales order for this. <coughs> Click on we it. are not creating any uh, on and for the last item. Uh, it is a warranty, na? so it is not having a warranty, will not have any on and actually. We are only going to give a certificate now. Right? <coughs> we are going to give an email saying that whatever the item is warranted for two years, extended warranty. So we do not have to have any stock for this. So let us go there and then create a sales order now. Fine, there's 11.43 is a customer thing you tap. And then I go to the line area. <clears throat> Click on the lines area. So go there. I will now put the first item over here. Find the D01 percentage. And then it is a what's called a, a desktop. D and then you tab now. Go there. I will now go for 10 quantities on this. Okay, okay, go there. And then I will now go for the next line now. As a mouse, keyboard and mouse. The item will be what keyboard and mouse now. <clears throat> so let's not keep what uh, that also what uh, 10 quantities. The pricing is coming because of what happens. The all it is price is now coming over here now. D01 percentage, key percentage, and then we are tab now. So D01 percentage, uh, key percentage, and then we are tab now. That is also 10 quarters. And then I will now go down and then what happens? I'm now going to put the warranty now. Fine. D01 percentage. Fine. EXT. Extended warranty. Go there. So this is also 10. 10 items in warranty. So now here what happens? I'm going to make it as what? I'm going to make it as uh, this one as what? As a what's called a shipper billable item and not the shippable item. So what happens? Before I say, I have to go and then change the line types. So these line transaction types has to be changed here. What happens? Ebus is very much uh, what happens oriented towards that order transaction type as well as line transaction type. Go there, drop it down, and then I'm going to make it as what? It's a bill only line. Since we have a mixed the order header, what happens? We can even have a return all line also in the same order as such now. So go there. I will now make it as a bill only line. It's a bill only line. And then give a save now. The moment you save it, remember we cannot make a change of the line type at all because the workflow begins now. In Ebus, whereas it's not so in Fusion. In Fusion, upon submission only the do starts. The do will be starting only upon submission now. So here, what happens? It gets fired immediately. As well. So if you want to go and then make a change, now fine, go there. I'm not ready to make it. What happens? Something else. Now, fine. Some, something. I'm not go there. I'm ready to change. What happens? The cloud already. Line has started already. Fine. Choose the line type. The same category as before. So what is it? Not open at all. Click on it. So you go there. Go to the bill only. Right? <coughs> then you are coming. <coughs> Fine, it's a bill only. So you cannot make a change here. No? Now, I am saying that what happens if you supply only desktop monitor, what happens? The customer will be shouting. And so I will now put these two lines on a ship set. I go to the shipping and then go there. Go to the right hand side. And then here, what happens? I now make it as a ship set. Go to the ship set. Click on it and then right click and then sets. What happens? Add to set, ship set. Or rather, uh, make a new set. New set and then ship set. So right click sets new and then ship set. What happens? I'm going to give a set to our SS1. This is one of the one I'm giving it. Okay, okay, no. So then add it. So the second line also, what happens? You go there and then right click on it. And then here, what happens? You go there and then go to the sets. And then uh, what happens? Add to set. Add to set ship set. So let me add it. I'm now adding it. So this one and this one are there now. Now, the warranty should not be built unless otherwise these two are shipped actually. So that is called fulfillment set. So I will not make what happens. I will not make it as a fulfillment set also. So let us say for the example, I have to make all the three as a fulfillment set. But for just for understanding purposes, the first and third line I will not put on a fulfillment set. You go there, right click, and then go to the sets, and then go to the new, and then go to the fulfillment set. Go there. So new and the fulfillment set. Go there. So I will not say what happens. F S one, fulfillment set on. Okay, on, okay, on. And then I will not put the last item also. I will not add to set sets. And then I will go and add to set and then go to the fulfillment set. So sets add to sets fulfillment set, I'm adding it. That means what? This will not be interfaced into what happens A or at all. Unless otherwise the product is shipped actually. But this time, whatever I'll now go and then make one more line now. Fine. D1 the percentage. EX percentage and then go tap. This line will not be what happens. I will not say 15 point is And then here I will now make a change to billowing line now. I will not have any sets at all. 
below the line. Then I will look at it. Now, this is not going to be associated with any set actually. If you go to the shipping, the fourth one is not having any set. So, upon booking, it will now become fulfilled actually. This line will not get fulfilled. So, a line can become, uh, can, part, can be a part of a ship set or an arrival set. What do you mean by ship set? These two must be shipped together actually. Otherwise, what happens? It will not arrive. And the arrival set is also having the same functionality, whether it is a ship set or arrival set. So, a same line cannot become for a ship set as well as an arrival set. It is like a BJP and then like a Congress, fine. They will always be mutually exclusive. So what happens, we can put a line on a ship set, but we cannot put the same line on an arrival set. That is not possible. You go the right click and then go to the sets. And then what happens, you go new and then go to the arrival set now. Fine, that will not work now. A arrival, A arrival set and then one. <coughs> click on OK, it's not possible. It will not throw an error now. <coughs> Cheapo, you cannot do it like that. A line cannot belong to either, it can belong to either this or this one. Fine. So a country can be ruled by either the BJP or the Congress, and not by both basically. That's what I'm saying. And you will cancel now. So you know possible. You will cancel. So the functionality is say you can put multiple lines on arrival set or a ship set. Fine. That means what? They have to reach the customers at the same time. That is what it means. So functionality is what? It will not allow you to ship. Both of them will not allow you to ship. The fulfillment set, what happens is that? Only when this line is shipped, what happens? The line is shipped, then only what happens? This line will be interfaced to what happens here actually. So the line has to be fulfilled actually. Right? Only when you fulfill the first line, then only what happens? The third line becomes eligible for what happens? Invoicing the customer actually. So this is on ship set arrival and fulfillment reset. What happens? This functionality is coming in the month of July uh, in uh, uh, 2019 actually, as far as Fusion is concerned now. Now we'll now see the workaround also. Right? So, so what is the purpose of creating the fourth line? Sir? Fourth line will not be having anything. It will be getting immediately fulfilled. No, I'll not show you. I will not show you. I will not go to the order information. Now, if you go to the lines item, if you go to the main one now, you can see, let me book it now. The booking is nothing but a customer confirmation. Customer confirm that you're going to buy it now. Fine, click on book order. I'm not going to book it now. The order is booked. Now you can see, if you go to the lines region, what happens? This gets fulfilled because it is not belonging to any fulfillment set actually. Now, this warranty is not interfaced here at all. So it's not fulfilled. Now, once when you run the workflow background, fine, go there. It's the Alt PR, Alt and Enter. Fine. Workflow. I'm writing it now. Fine. Workflow background process. I'm going to run it now. Fine, go there. So tap, tap, tap. And then it is a yes. And then give a no now. Fine, go there. Click on F. Okay, fine. Submit it. Fine. I'm submitting it now. So once when you submit it, what happens? The line gets closed. Whereas in Fusion, it is not so. It will now close the, what happens? It will now push it into AR. It will now push it into AR. And then what happens? Uh, the auto invoice processing will now create an invoice. And then as and when it pushes into the AR, the line gets closed. Whereas in Fusion, it is not so. It will now push and then wait for you to create an invoice. Only when the invoice is created, it will now get closed. So there is a difference. So there are some minor differences here and there now. The workflow background has now got complete. Now. Close it now. And then let it know. What happens? Refresh it. Fine. Go there. Control flow and refresh it. What happens? The line gets closed. So once when a sales order line is closed, what happens? The CSR, the customer service representative's activity is now completed. So he'll be honored with whatever the sales commission is there as far as the line closures. He is now working on some 500 lines, order which 350 lines are closed. What happens? He'll be able to enjoy the commission. Sales commission will be given to him as and when it is closed. Because he has negotiated with the customer and then he has now booked the order and then he has ensured that what happens? It is now shipped to the customer. And then afterwards, what happens? The invoicing part, the AR has to take care of. Now, it is already seen. Now, let us go there and then try to ship it. Now, now let us say, we are now having a warning message there. I'm go to this place. And then here, we are having a warning message. I'm go there. Take off it now. Now, go there. And then click on it. And then go to the navigator. Now, go there. Go to the shipping. And then go to the transaction now. Let me query the sales order. Click on the order, order number now. Paste it over here and then give a tap. And then make the line type as null. And then click on OK. Find it now. <coughs> So I will know what happens. Launch the pick release. The control, what happens? I will not select both the lines now. So pick release, I'm going to do it now. Fine. Go there, click on launch pick release now. And dishoom, dishoom, dishoom. Fine. By which what happens? I'm now launching it now. Fine. Go there. So if you go on and have a look at it now, fine. The PSLG concurrent will be running now. Fine. It's a pick selection list generation concurrent is running. It will be going to pick up from the stores and then bring it to the staging now. So that will not be any problem at all. Fine. Go there. It will be only doing it now. Now while shipping it, what I will do is I will not ship only the first line. We'll not see what happens. And remember, on the roll, we are given only a warning message as far as breaking of the ship set is concerned. So since it is only a warning message, what happens? You cannot see. One is now completed fine. The PSLG has now gone to a black color. That means what? Your activity is now completed without any errors. Now, fine, go there. Close it now. 
and then when i refresh the line i go the click on it control f11 i'm refreshing it so you know stage is become from other both of them are assigned the same delete account let me unassign the second delete and go there i let me unassign it and go there i will not unassign the delete i go there click on go fine po 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 in the poe puch gone the delivery number is gone so the delivery has got only the first line go there i will not try to ship confirm it now i will click on it and remember both the things has to go together but what happens when you break the ship the ship set we have given only a warning message now and go there click on this one you go to the delivery now the delivery will be coming to the left hand side now and go there click on ship confirmation and then click on okay now <clears throat> click on okay now what happens it will not give a warning message is not giving a warning message click on the delay is not fine go there it's not saying fine day 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 one or more ship sets or what happens incomplete yaar then also you ship the okay chalega <clears throat> it has now done it fine go okay fine it has only given a warning message now so it has got closed fine go there lines will be what happens you go there control from and if you refresh it what happens you know interface actually you know interface to oeo and if you go and then see on the order line fine go there you go to the sales order line you go to the sales orders and then you go to the lines to and then go and control from and you know see that is shipped but this is only picked actually <clears throat> fine ship and then pick will be coming fine or is not ship and then when you run the workflow background is all be closed this is a wrong one so many companies will not allow you to break the ship set at all fine what so what they do is you go to the window and then go to the navigate now fine it will go there you go to the shipping you go to the snaps and then you go to the picking now fine go down you go to the picking now you go to the grants and roles and fine go there go to the what's called defined roles let me query it's upgrade role which i am going to query now fine go there up percentage and then percentage now fine go there come come now doing it now in the upgrade role i go to the message now and then i go there drop it down and then go there ship now so <coughs> go there breaks it fine go there breaking of the ship set what happens i will say dai mudiyad ra dai control s commit so once when you make it as a error what happens it will not allow you to what happens sir ship partially at all so is a error fine go there orders so i now made it as yes now fine go there click on it let me me take a copy of the order so shipping transaction is okay fine close it now fine go to go to the go to order now so go to the order information fine take copy of it now we will know create a new order now by copying it now and go there close it now you go to orders and returns and then go to the what order organizer let me query the order now my order number i'm going to query now fine what happens click on find now and then go there go to actions and then go to copy now fine i'm going to make a copy of it now click on copy so i'm making a new copy of it now and go there click on okay now so by which order was the new order is now created now and go there click on continue <coughs> that's it fine go there so i will now open it up and then query the new order and go there go to the query mode and then what happens if you paste it over here now fine go there query it now i'm querying it now So I will not, or rather, I have to, or rather, once again, I have to query the next one. Now, I will not tab it out, and then go, and then two six the one I query. Go there, go to the line design. I go there. We'll again have to put the ship set. Now, I go there. So the ship sets will not be basically copied. Now, I go to the shipping, and then let us not add the ship set. Now, the sets will not vanish. Now, basically, ships, the ship sets are only order specific. So what happens? You go to the ship set, and then right click, and then go to the sets, and then here, what happens? You go to the new, and then go to the ship set, and then I will not put the ship set. Yes, it's one now. Go there, click on OK now. So second line also, you know, add it now. Fine, go there, right click, and then go to the ships. You go to the add to set, and then ship set now. Fine, let me add it now. Fine, go there, and then I will now keep it on the fulfillment set. Fine, go there. First line, and then the third line. Fine, go there, right click, and then go to the ships, and then go to the new, and then go to the fulfillment set now. Fine, go to the fulfillment set. Yeah, first one, enter it now, and then the last, third line also. I'm going to make it as a what fulfillment set. Fine, go to the ships, and then you go to the add to set, and then go to the fulfillment set now. Fine, I'm not. So it's all set now. Fine, go there. Now that is good. It is not allow you at all. Fine. If you try to do it, what happens? It will not allow you. Fine, go there. Control S, commit now. It's not done. <coughs> you go there. And now let me book it now. Fine. I'm not booking it now. Fine. Click on orders book now. So you go to the lines region again. You know how to look at it now. Fine, go there. Shipping area. Fine. So we are having the ship set, ship set, and then full print set. Everything is there. Fine, go there. Take off it. And then let us now do the launch pick list of this. Fine, go there. Go to the window and then go to the navigate now. Fine, go there. Go to the shipping. And then you go to the transaction form and then paste this number over here now. For the order number, place it now. Fine, go there. Call it. Do it now. <clears throat> then make it as null now. Click on find. So drop it down and then yell. Catch on, catch on, catch on. <clears throat> One more enter. Fine. Now the PSLG will be running now. Fine, go there. So the PSLG is running. So once when it is completed, what happens? You can now see it will be staged people form. And then I will now remove the delivery from the second line and try to ship to the last one. <clears throat> so it is not done. Fine, go there. Click on it. Close it and then you no. Know, refresh it now fine go the control f1 and refreshing it so here it is not done why oh god i have not done the pickles for the second line actually i will do it now i have not done it actually so it is running <clears throat> okay let it run now so i have not selected both lines now i go to the first line and then what happens it does not having a delivery number fine you know see whether it will not be associating the same delivery or you know have a look at it fine by chance what about more running and all that we'll wait for this one you know complete fine go the 
then the know how other is having a different delivery number of you know see oh yeah is a different delivery number so keep your first customer and then click on the delivery and then try to ship confirm this time order but it's not to find out if you try to give an okay it will not allow at all because what happens it is going to end up in error now fine click on okay now fine you know see error fine poda ponga you know say fine one or more ship sets or delivery are incomplete please so if the ship sets are incomplete this is how many companies practice now fine so making a partial shipment will now dissatisfy the customer so even if the items are ready in the staging area it will not allow you to pick up not allow you to ship at all fine what is it is not allowed so you go there and then what happens you you go back to the phone and then here what happens you will not unassign it and then put in the same delivery now and go there click on it unassign from the delivery and then click on go there and go there i will not add to auto create you go there assign to delivery and go there i will not assign assign to delivery and go there assign delivery so click on plus it will not show you all these things now and go there click on it now i would assign the delivery go now <clears throat> i will not give what the same number now fine 62 percentage 36 and then let me query now and go there is not coming and go there click on okay now and the same delivery is now giving us fine this time if you do what happens it will be getting done now <clears throat> in the meantime what happens you go there yeah is 35 oh it's 35 now okay fine <laughs> okay okay fine it is not shown me i, I made a mistake here actually fine go there what us i go there i will not unassign it now fine go there let me unassign it unassign from delivery and click on go now now we now go to the assign fine go there click on the assign delivery <clears throat> and then give a go and then it's 62 percentage 35 So it's not the same thing. So the minute we go and have a look at the sales order, now fine, go there. Go to the what happens? Sales orders now. So in the sales orders, what happens? It will not show the main region as what the status is. What awaiting fulfillment now? Fine, go there. What is cut off from awaiting fulfillment? So these two are picked now. But now let us now launch the delivery. Now bring it the delivery. It has got two shipments. And then go there. Click on shipment. Fine, go there. Click on it. And then click on okay. <clears throat> it will now go smoothly now. Fine, go there. Now having some warning only. Fine. Here is only for the bill of lading. Fine. The remaining are all okay. Fine. Go there. Yeah, jolly jolly. It got completed. Fine. Only for the bill of lading, and then other things are having error. No fine. Doesn't matter. No fine. Uh, so click on okay now, and then it's all done. No fine. It's now closed. If you go there, click on it. No fine. Now what happens? The interface trip stop concurrent is going to run, and it's now running. No fine. Go there. It's now running. So once when the ITS gets completed, what happens? It will be going to interface, and then the sales order will be shipped back to. <coughs> I can see this interface. So if you go there, go to the window, and then go to the sales orders now. Now if you see what happens, it is now shipped, and then once when you run the concurrent, you go there. All PR, all ten enter. Fine. Workflow background. <coughs> go there. Enter it now. Tap tap tap. <coughs> y and then tap and then N and then enter. All ten. <coughs> you tap and then no. Fine. So wait for the concurrent to complete now. Now we can see all the lines are being closed. So the order invoice master is also running now. So workflow background is completed. Fine, go there and then click on it. Fine, you can now see all the lines closed. Everything is closed, 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 closed. So this is how the ship set has been done now. Now we'll now go and then see on our area. Fine, we'll now go there. This now I have to again uh, do the correction because I made a mistake there. Now, fine. So in this place we'll now go there. We don't have anything. So we had again go there and then do the correction. Now, fine, click on it. Go to the correct planning data. <clears throat> Uh, go to OPS. And then you're okay, fine. <clears throat> any other thing, along with the structure and then something, then let me collect everything. Yeah, and I don't want to make any mistake on this. Nothing. <laughs> and the supply side, what happens? Uh, go there on end. Hey Vijay, anything else is required on the supply side? <clears throat> this is dynamic data. Okay, I'm selecting everything. And then this time, I do not want to fail at all. This is how the doctors work actually. The doctors will now give a very strong dosage. So that what happens? Your disease is definitely killed. But what happens? Your body will now become totally weak actually because of so much of antibiotic and other things. What happens? It will become so weak. But they are not bothered about it because they will now come to you again. They will. You will now go to the doctor again whenever you are having a problem because he is now solving the problem. <laughs> so that way they always work now. So they will now give so many orders. So I am now collecting everything. So click on submit now. I am submitting. It will now take some time now for this to complete. So in the meantime, what happens? We'll now go to the next topic, and then we'll now come back. No, no, have a daughter. Actually, uh, the ship set arrival set uh, fulfillment set. Now uh, it will be control order order level, or it's a transaction level. This is the uh, what happens? The line level actually. <clears throat> Fine. Each and every line we can put the money ship set actually. No, in transaction type level also we can assign. No? Transaction type, I don't know whether in EBS, na? Yeah, EBS only. In shipping tab, we have to assign, I think. So. 
maybe maybe i'm not sure about that i'm not done it to, to the extent actually because oh. what i was we have i was in the support actually and then uh, we have done only like this actually okay okay so we have got three levels of control actually one is what at the uh, the transaction level and then uh, the other level is what at the uh, what happens we have in the shipping you go to the setups and then you go to the shipping parameters this is the second level this is the level only available now and go there here you can enforce the ship model to be complete this is the only thing which is available in fusion actually in fusion this is the only one which is available as of now so this is the one and then next is what and the item level also you can do so the ship model complete when enforcing the ship sets and then ship models is available at two level one is the what happened the role level the upgrade role we can uh, now make it as error or otherwise here or an item and the three levels are there so this is the only level which is available in fusion okay this is the only level which is available in fusion and then the full fledged one ship set arrival set full fledged everything is coming soon it will all be coming soon <clears throat> go there once so it's not done now when go there click on it and then we have to do that one in this place all now we will not forget it and go there and not do the what happened the shipping parameters so we have to enforce this and we click on cancel now so let us now go there we will now go to the task and then we will now enforce it and go there. go to the setup and made a run now so here what happened i am going to enforce the ship set now <clears throat> so click on it so we will now go there click on it and then you go to the what's called search now is a manage shipping parameters now find manage percentage ship percentage parameters percentage now so go to the manage shipping parameters now so in the shipping parameters i'm going to make it as a error actually i'm going to make it as a error so here what happens the ship set behavior is now error now so i can have multiple levels we can make it as a error is already made as a error now if it is a warning it will only give a warning and information information is only for information now give warning is not going to be error actually is listed now now tell me if you make a change here is it necessary to do the collection and refresh or not anybody if you make any changes here is it required to be collected and refreshed ha huh? no one no who is this who is this what is his name Yes. Not really because this is interfacing to the shipping and inventory systems. Exactly. Not to oh, yeah. Who is this? Yeah. Who is this? Surajit sir. Surajit is very correct now. Fine. So anything on the transactional systems need not be refreshed and collected. If anything has to be interfaced to order entry, then that has to be what happens uh, refreshed and collected, and that has to be what happens collected and refreshed. So this is all on the transactional systems. so both of them will be having a perpetual uh, what happens a link actually the inventory as well as the shipping and so what happens no need to collect anything from this place thank you all that's it fine go there we'll now have a look at the concurrent of and we'll see the concurrent is complete now so click on the what's called the schedule process now click on the schedule process we'll now have a look at the concurrent now so go there so still run now the load entries come because i know run everything now fine <laughs> so it not takes a long time let it run. So let us now. In the meantime, what happens? Now go to the next topic and then see now. So we are ready to open up. So one, please stop. Okay. 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 Hmm. In this place, what happens? Uh, which topic and the order entry we are not completed? The two variants. All these things we are completed now. <coughs> Yeah, approvals. Sales order approvals were not completed. That is not complete this month, and that is the only thing which is now left over. Then we have to jump into pricing tomorrow. No? So sales order approvals. We go there, go to the task, and then we will now set up the approvals. We will take off it. Let us now set up the approvals. Click on it now. So we will now go to this place, and then we will now set up the approvals. Click on it, and then click on search. Go there. Manage order approval rules. And go there. Open it. Open it up. So order approvals. We are going to go on and have a look at now. And click on create new. Now there is no rule to open. Click on create new. It is again a visual builder actually. So visual builders are very easy actually. And then they have to bring each and everything they are planning to bring in. And then I don't know that they are going to bring in now. And everything like a visual builder. So this is very easy because you have pick and then order as a drop and then do it now. And so easy. Actually. So go on and create the rule now. 
So we have got six methods of approval in procurement. One is what the single worker. One is what automatic approval. One is uh, approval group. These are the three ones. And then afterwards, the job level approval, the position level approval, and then the supervisor level approval. Everything is applicable here also. All the six methods of approval in procurement, whatever is there, everything is applicable here also. And now go there and then let us not put the description over here. And always have the habit of giving a good description. So that what happens, uh, it will be easy for others to understand what exactly you've written there. It is not coming there. No, fine with that. In here, it is, we have to edit. I click on edit. I will not say, no, no, approval rule. <coughs> click on okay, no, fine. So you have the description name that offering with that. I will not click on this. No, fine, no, fine. So we can even write some condition of no, whether you want us. So click on it. The new condition is now getting written there now. This is a problem. It doesn't come immediately, basically. Click on it. So sometimes it gives a nakara, basically. It's all browser problem. Remember, when, uh, if you go and work on other machine, it is working. I have seen it also. So much of a problem here. If you double click on it, it's not opening at all. So what I do is I will now go there. I will now clear all the cookies now. I have a C cleaner now. I click on analyze and then clear all the cookies. Otherwise, what I have to do is I will now go there and then open up in another browser and then try to work on it now. No, then no, I'm going to click on it. Go there. Yeah, see, so you now it's working. <laughs> attribute, I will not say customer. I will not put the customer. Some, some attribute you are doing, fine, go there. I'm not putting some customer. Fine, go there. Customer is equal to, fine, go there. Click on the magnifier and then let me put it now. It's a D01. D01. And click on search now. The system is so stupid, what happens, uh, if you clear the cookies, sometimes it will work. Otherwise, what happens, you go on and open up in some other uh, Mozilla browser or some other laptop, it works now. If it doesn't work, you know. And my student told them this is happening for many of the cases for, you know. What is this? I couldn't understand this. Now, how come it can be machine dependent now? It's a, it's a remote system. It's really very strange, actually. When he was telling me, yeah, it's like, it's like uh, we have the uh, application open for one hour or 30 minutes. This is happening, sir. Oh, 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 is it so? Oh, God. Yeah. Bad, actually. So I'll now put the, he, Vijay is from Oracle Development, and then any questions you can uh, shoot to him now. Fine. So D01, custom one is the one, fine, click on OK, now, fine. and now put the if condition, of fine, click on OK. So the condition is not Then what happens, I will now say, you have to go for approval. So click on then now. Click on then. And then I will now choose the approvals. <clears throat> you can even have multiple conditions on this, now, fine. double click on it now. Then, and put it in now. Then do, click on do now. So I'm going to say, I will now go for approval now. Click on it now. So I will now say a new action. <clears throat> the new option, set what happens, perform an action. And I will go for a perform an action now. So select an action, fine, drop it down. Fine. All these six levels of approvals are there. Individual approval, auto approval, fine, auto reject. And then what happens, assign to the job level, your position level, your supervisor level, all these things, whatever you have in EVIS, everything is available. So now here, what happens, I will now say individual approvals, assign to individuals, not fine. And then go there here. What happens? It's approval required now. Fine. Assign to is now coming. Fine. Go there. How to drop it down? A task creator. Come on here. Boogie man. Task creator. Specific order. I will now put a specific order now. Go there. I will now say is a B01. I will now put now. Fine. Go there. Is a EMP1. Is a last name. Come on. First name. That way I'll do it now. Fine. Go there. Click on search now. <coughs> It's an idiotic way. Fine. Sometimes last name, first name, sometimes first name, last name. All combinations are basically. First name is what? It's a B01. Fine. Go on and search now. Fine. Now go on and search. B01, EMP1. Fine. I have a EMP is there now. Uh, only EMP is there? How come? Okay. Whatever is available doesn't matter. Fine. Go there. So he need not be a legal employee. As well. we don't know. And then both of them are, uh, belong to me only. Fine. So I'm not putting a EMP over here now. Fine. Click on assign. Click on OK now. Fine. So this is not done. The rule is now created. 
If the customer is going to be so and so, what happens? He will not be assigning it to this place for approval, and that's it. Fine. So the fails then, and then what happens? You know, uh, do all sorts of uh, everything is what uh, if then else sort of a, a rules only. So the rule is now made. Thank you, Conseil and Close. Fine. My approval rule is ready. You can now try to find out the so many if conditions are there. If so and so condition there, what happens? You cannot do it. No problem. So click on it now. Fine for that. <clears throat> How come I have given name? No, it's not coming there. It's not coming. Okay, here description is coming. I will not take copy and put the new name also. Paste it away. So you know what is? I will not make it as active. And then here I will not start date. Give a start date for this now. Click on it. Click on the date now. And then here I will not give a save and close now. <clears throat> so it is not done. Fine. Now the green tick mark is coming, mentioning that what happens is active actually. The rule is active. Close it now and go there and then publish the rule. So the rule is ready. Now we have to go to the order management parameters and then enable these approvals actually. Click on OK now. You go to enable the approvals. So go there and then you close this one. It is now published. Close it. Click on done and then come on up it now. And then go there, click on it now. And then here, what happens? You go to the setup and maintenance and then go to the manage. Uh, drop it down. And then you go to the search now. It is the manage order management parameters now, right? Manage percentage. Order percentage. Para percentage. Entry now. Go to this place. And then here, there's something on approvals. You have to enable the approvals. Go there. Check. Send the approval process for sales orders. Start the approval process. And go there. So is it saying no now? Let me make it as yes. So click on yes now. Fine. Go there. Go there. Click on save and close. Now approval process must start. Click on save and close now. Now these things need not be collected because what happens? They're all the parameters area. The rules are also immediately applicable as soon as it's published to be available now. Go there. Click on it now. Let us now uh, try to create the approval. So you go there. Go to the order management now. You go to the create order. <coughs> so the moment I put the customer, the approval will be triggered actually for this customer. So click on create order. <coughs> So it's a D01. The customer which you choose and do. I will not put the item over here. Item is what? D01, 01, and then you tag me. Or let's click on add now. I'm just simply submitting it. Click on save now. I'm not giving any arrows, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> because upon submitting, what happens? It'll be going for to printing approval. If I click on submit now, fine. Normally it will be coming as a processing now. Now it will not be going to browsing, it will be going to pending approval. It will be sending it to the particular person for approval actually. So it is not submitted frankly from okay now. It has to go to approval pending now. <clears throat> so if you refresh it, what happens? It also now here also what happens? The icon will be coming back click on refresh now. Approval is pending. So if you click on this, uh, we can even see this now. Find somewhere. So that will be coming back. Go to the actions, view approvals, find additional information, new currency, reverted trap. The additional information is going to be there. Click on refresh. Now, what happens? I am now having this placement. What happens? You'll be getting a what's called a message over here. Now. <clears throat> we'll go there. You'll be getting a message over here now. We got a message. Action required has come. Now. We'll go there. So this is a guy who is not having it. Click on it now. He's not having it. So the successive approver can take an action over here. Either approve or reject or request more information. Also. So click on approve. Fine, you go to approve. So you know approve. Click on approve. So this is on the sales order. You know, see all the information on this company, the line level, what is there in this, what is the price, what is the total amount. You will now look at everything and then decide what happens whether you can approve it or not. Because this guy will be having an idea about the customer also. If the customer is a fake customer or what happens, something like that, you know, you reject it also. So likewise, what happens, you may even reject the uh, order actually. So you will know uh, having a higher outlook than the CSR actually. So the CSR is submitted and then what happens, this guy will be able to take a decision on whether to approve or not. I click on approve. So if your end customers wants an approval also for each and every sales order, we have to enable it in this way. I click on approve. So maybe check what happens, the approval is over. So here, what happens, please type your comments above. Right? Fine, you will not say, okay, approve. <clears throat> so above the line, below the line, don't touch it. 
what happens it is all totally configured one so below this line do not touch anything now and then write it and then click on send now fine by which what happens the message will be going back to the system the message is sent now so if you go to the order management and then what happens you go there and then click on refresh now right? now you see view approval information is coming fine if you click on the view approval information now it comes after some time i think probably if you click on the view approval information it will not show you to whom it has gone to so it has been marked to him now fine is there now coming as a blue indication the blue indication indicates that what happens it has been marked to him now so because of which what happens now that so the moment he approves it what happens a tick mark will be coming over here a tick mark will be coming over here so click on done now a tick mark will be coming click on now so wait for some time click on refresh now fine his approval pending is there so once when he has approved what happens the tick mark will be so all the six methods of approval the individual approval the auto approval approval group jobs positions and then supervisor hierarchy all the things are applicable here also and everything will work here click on refresh and go there is not done they are not gone to the process so go to this place and then how to see his comments actually whatever he has given when there is no indication at all there they should have put in the approvals comments basically and that is not coming i don't know how to see this over there <coughs> this completes the approvals now basically now we'll now come back to our one and then we'll now start our activity now and this so we'll now go and then see the thing now we'll click on it now we we'll go to the schedule to process now any doubts on the approvals and that's it <coughs> we'll go there so now give okay, a we'll refresh now fine now how to see so worker to delete stage it has so select fine go there we'll now do the refresh now fine click on the schedule new process and then we'll now do the refresh and start now so refresh start new okay, tab the refreshing start and then click on search now we are searching the refresh and start and go there and then we are running it now okay, 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 click something now okay. so what all the things to be collected now and go there is on and we have to collect it this is a bigger one i don't like it at all uh, items and then uh, structures also no routings is not a routing actually i have no tick mark on this no 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 what is the where is the structure here come on it is not there for code as fulfillment lines allocation course are you i don't know you know i don't do something what happens let me collect all if something is not getting refreshed it will again gives a problem is a big problem items on one hand we are done now any of somebody make an analysis and then for which which activity which which has to be refreshed now if you do it please forward the now so many people have already forwarded many documents i have now already uploaded them now fine thanks to all of you for your what was help actually so click on submit let me show up i am now doing a refresh now refresh everything jaane do but this is basically a big bottleneck in uh, the field actually when you run like this what happens it will be running hours together and then you will not be able to do your activity immediately actually. now i will now make what happens a sales order for the pto model actually so once when you make a sales order for the video model <coughs> go there so it is a desktop what happens is one so pick model complete ah uh, so it will be done so we are not done the first step and then go on there manage shipping by minutes that we also made it as a error actually fine go there the warning has been changed to error actually go there so we are on the is of an item on and for this now they done it now fine for the pricing administration okay we now have a price also for this one So both the items put together, we have a price now, fine, that we are doing. Okay, fine. So let us now give a price for the items. So both the things put together, we must have a price now. Okay, fine. And then I go to the pricing administration now. I click on the pricing administration. Let us now give a price. So go to the manage price list. Go there. So here I will now query for this word D zero one. And then click on search now. We are searching for the price list now. Click on it. So select it and then click on edit now. And then there I will now add the prices. I now keep my cursor on the item now, and then click on plus now. So on the item level we are going to give a price now. Click on plus now. So it's a PDO model for which what I'm going to give you. Go the PDO and then what is the D and then give a tab now. It is a desktop PDO model for which what I'm going to give a price. So go there in the PDO model. Come again. Okay, no, I will now say some seventy five dollars I'm going to give you. <laughs> And remember, this price need not be collected. Actually, the pricing will be immediately appearing on the sales order. This there is no need to collect and refresh actually. And then click on create charge, and then let me give a charge of seventy-five dollars for this.
go down. And then here, the charge is going to be $75 now. Then I will now give a start date on this one. Okay. And that's it. The price has been given. This is the price of both the components, both the shippable components put together as a price actually. Okay, click on save and close. And it takes some time to what happens appear on the sales order actually. Previously, it used to take more than three hours. Now, what happened? Time has got significantly reduced now. Now, pricing is now very fast actually. It has been reduced. That is in eBay, it is instantaneous. If you give there, it will be immediately appearing on the sales order. So go there and then click on this home icon and then what happens by this time you would have completed the thing also time. Go to the order management and then let us now create the click on create order. So we'll now put the order over there and click on it. So click on it as D01. <coughs> now put the customer over here now. Right. And then let me have the defaulting over here now. So click on the order type and then have the defaulting. There is a D01 defaulting. I'm going to put it now. Right. So this defaulting will now ensure that what happens you'll be having uh, you go there and then put the identifying over there. This D01 underscore. What happens is a uh, desktop and then you tap and then desktop. I will now choose the PTO model. You know, okay, okay, the 70 pay has to come up and you see there is coming another time. Vandichi, we got it. The price has come up. So here, what happens? The customer has to configure. Right? Since it is a PTO model, the configuration has come up, but he has got nothing to configure. So both the components are already ready. When click on the configure and add, and go there. So click on the configure and add. He has got nothing to configure. He will be getting an empty page on this now and click on finish. Click on finish. So the empty page is coming. Click on finish by which what happened. Both the components are getting added up automatically and go there. The orders. So you go there now. See now. If you click on the more icon on the bottom, what happens? You can now see both the components of this video model will be av available over here now. So you know, see the desktop. What happens? Desktop and monitor and the keyboard and most both are on and that's it. Fine, go there. Click on submit by which whatever you can now go to this place because of the defaulting rule. If you go to the warehouse now, you can now see the warehouse. The date has been shifted by three days now. Fine, 20th, uh, three days shifting. And then in the supply sub inventory, whatever will be having the submit also. So there is a defaulting. And go there. Click on submit now. So Manoj has started us on what happens if you give order date plus three, it is working now. But if you give the requested date plus something, it's not working actually. And you make some RD on this and then try to find out. Improvise the defaulting to a better extent. Uh, you keep on working on it. So click on submit by which one the order is now submitted now. Oh god, it will not again go for approval. I have to disable the approval. I want to disable the approval. Okay, let me go there and approve it also. <coughs> it will be going for approval actually. <coughs> I have not disabled the approval. So approval is pending. I click on refresh now. After some time of a refresh, what happens? You are getting this uh, the view approval information is coming. I click on it now. I will show you where exactly it is gone now. So click on this now. So you will be having okay, approval has come now. Fine, click on it. So once again, you go there. So our action required is not coming. After approved, also a message is coming. Can go there, click on approve. Let me approve it. I will say okay, okay. I think we must be able to see it somewhere. In purchasing, we can very well see it now. So here, we will now give it done now. And then will again, what happens? Go there, click on view approval information. He has approved it. So here, somewhere has to come now. The camera icon will be showing you as such. If you click on the camera icon, what happens? It will be showing you the approver's message. It is not assigned, it is not showing you. If you click on the camera icon, it has to show his message also, whatever he has written there. This place. The comment area it has to come up. I click on again. I will again click on this one and go there. Click on again. But a tick mark also will be coming up. I click on this one and a tick mark will be coming. But this itself is going away immediately. The comment area, okay, okay, is not coming. So click on done and then you see it or happens, it will now go away now. Upward printing is there, now it's gone. Because what happens is already approved. I had to see his comments. Okay, fine. Now go on to the processing. Fine, go to the orders. <coughs> I don't know. Fine, somebody make an RD and then see. But how to see his approvers' comments actually? Fine, go to the actions and then switch to fulfillment view. We are now switching to the fulfillment view, refresh it, and then you can now see both the lines are getting added. And if you, what happens, expand it. Expand this line. What happens? No show both the lines. And remember, every individual line is a separate one. If you go to the fulfillment lines, so every shippable line will be having a separate do number now. The do number will be separate. I'm going to expand it. You now see the do number separate. Fine. Both of them will be having a separate do number. Oh God, all of them coupled, coupled together. Okay. Fine. Three different lines, but since it is a model, what happens? All of them are now together actually. Fine. Go there. So it is now scheduled. And then what happens? If you go and refresh, what happens? It will be interface to shipping. You know, interface to shipping. Go down. There is no reserved. Now fine. Go there. Come to refresh. <coughs> So 
all of them are referred to and then what happens the next activity is what to the awaiting shipping and let us now open up one more tab region and then we'll not try to go to the inventory now we'll go to the place so take a copy of it now and then open up one more tab region paste it over here enter we'll now go to the inventory and then try to query this now and what is the place so click on it and then we'll go to the inventory now so home icon and then go to the inventory management and then here directly we'll go there click on the stars carousel and then open up the drop down and then we take it to the shipments and remember <coughs> for a sales order go via managed shipment line <coughs> and for the transfer orders go via managed shipment line orders so click on the managed shipment lines we go there and then open up line it's over the what's called 49214 the one and go there so 49214 the one and go there. give it up so click on search now the search will come no we do not is not yeah bekar cheese this has to be a null actually click on search now you will not find both the lines now what i will do is i will now create a shipment number only for the first line now fine select it and then we will now auto create a shipment for this one for the rest of one fine click on auto create shipment go there click on it i am now creating order to create shipment fine. shipment is created so i will now try to ship this one only fine go there so click on it and then i will now click on the shipment line and then try to ship there the second line is not having any shipment number fine click on it now fine let me launch the pick release now pick release will be successful it will not come to the staging area fine go to the actions and then go to the pick release pick release will not have any problem at all it will be successfully coming into the staging area but when you try to ship confirmation what happens it will not allow it because what happens we have on the shipping parameters if you are breaking it it will be error actually on the shipping parameters so that shipping parameter is the only part which is available as of now so 38024 is the shipping number thank you for cancel now and then come back and then see this now fine it will be staged and it's not staged now let me go there and then try to ship confirm it click on the shipment number now let me try this is not a stage also fine go there click on it now so click on it and then i will try to what happens the ship confirm it now fine go there i will not say how much you want to ship fine go there click on one now ship quantity is also one requested quantity is ship quantity and then if i give a ship confirmation it will now enter enter error fine click on ship confirmation i am not going to give a ship confirmation now fine click on ship confirmation it will now end the error now poda ponga is no saying it is not possible at all to ship i will not do it mudiyadra po so is no saying very clearly fine go there you have not what happens the ship confirmation request failed because there are errors in the shipment selected for the ship confirmation fine go there but in ebis what happens it now say they clearly say the ship model is now what a violated because of which what happens they end up in the error actually so you cannot ship confirm because what about one or more shipment sets here is now showing you here ship sets of this are incomplete actually here is not showing here so because of which you are unable to ship now fine there is a error message now fine click on okay now now we go there click on cancel and then we'll now create what happens we'll now add the second line to the shipment right click on it we'll now add the second line to the same shipment right click on select it and then add to shipment right click on add to shipment and then it will now come to the next screen now in this screen if i give a simple okay it will not do fine go there add lines and edit shipment if you give it what happens it will not go at all it will not go it will not add the shipment because we had to say which shipment number we are doing fine go there click on it now again select it and then go to add to shipment now now the shipment number we had to say now fine what happens 38024 is the one go there Is three eight zero two four, and then click on search now. We are going to search for it, and then select it, and then here add add lines. Now the shipment number will be associated with the second line. It will add lines and edit shipment. Add lines and edit shipment. We are doing it now. It is not done. Go <coughs> there. So you can now see the same shipment number. If we go and then give a cancel and then see this now. Three eight zero two four is now assigned to both lines. Now I will now go to this one. The first line is already staged. You go there and then click on it now. And then once when you launch the pick release, if you go to the actions and then go to the pick release, the second line will be picked actually. And click on it. So we are not doing it. Second line will be picked. The concurrent is running now. And we cancel. Now if you go and then see, go to cancel now. Fine. Here what happens? The first line is staged. Second is ready to release now. Fine. Now take some time now. Fine. Again click and then come back now. Fine. Click on it. Otherwise you can even search on this now. Three eight zero two four. Click on three eight zero two four. The one. So the one. So if you go and then click on search, it will now show you the latest results of this. Now both are staged. Now we can very well perform the ship confirmation. Fine, go there. Click on it now. Fine, click on this open. And then I will now go there and do the ship confirmation. Click on it. Now. Go down. And then I will now say this also. I'm going to do one quantity and go there. So and then click on ship confirmation. So this is the work around which Oracle has suggested. Now it is only a warning. It was a previously error now. So the ship confirmation error because the weight and volume is not specified. That is only for the transportation management. So since weight and volume are involved in the transportation management, it is now giving you a warning. And click on S now, fine. By which what happens? It is getting completed now. And now what happens? The concurrent, what is called the send shipment advice, will be running. That is equivalent to interface trip stop of Ebus now. And then once when that is completed, what happens? The order entry will be completed. 
models. So go there. You know, if you give a refresh now, it will be all be having avoiding shipping now. Go there. You know, avoiding shipping. Now these two lines are shipped, whereas the first line is not shipped at all because it's a model actually. So you go there. So click on refresh now. So wait for the concurrent to complete. So once when it is completed, what happens? The billable line will be interfaced to AR actually. These two will not be interfaced. Then go there. Click on refresh now again. Sir, morning, sir. One doubt, sir. Tell me. So, if I have one more line apart from that, uh, the, some uh, key and mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm doing an order, if I'm punching it, yeah. that line, if I want to do separately, can I able to do it? Or yes, yes. It? we can do it very well because that is not having any association to the model, and so what happens? That will be running separately. Okay. Sir. And similarly, for the fulfillment set, also what happens? You couple everything and then make the item as a bill only line. And then that will be working as a what? As a uh, finally, what happens? It will be working as a fulfillment set also. Are you able to understand now? Fine. So, for the fulfillment set, what happens for the same model? You associate the shippable line as well as the billable line also together. The only thing is what? The ship model complete must be there on the item. Fine. That is the, that is the only requirement. Now. There is a lab access for you. Fine. Since you asked for, I have forgotten to add it now. Fine. There is a lab access. You can just make it now. Fine. So, make a, what happens? Your warranty. And then on the order management tab region, what happens? You make the ship ship model complete is going to yes now. And then afterwards associate the same PDO model, and then that will not interface to uh, this thing till the shippable lines are complete. Actually, there is a lab access. So by which what happens? We can now achieve the ship set as well as what happens the fulfillment set also. So that that billable line will be coming as a not started, and then afterwards what happens? It will be coming as awaiting billing once when the ship. Got it. Now, if you go there and then run it now, fine, go there, go to this place, and then I will now run this concurrent. You know, see, only the first line will be interfaced. Go to the, go to the it's called scheduling process, and then run the concurrent now. Only the first line will be interfaced. Think on scheduling process now. And now only the first line will be interfaced now. <clears throat> so, order invoice import the one. Click on search now. And then import order invoice. Okay, click on okay now. <clears throat> So click on OK. So we are going to give the person the parameters as what? The sales order parameter. So the transaction source is do now. So make a change of this to do now. And that will now pass on the sales order number. I go there. So the from sales order number, I go there. What is what is the number here? 49214. So 49214 is the one. Give a tap. The two number will be coming automatically. Go there. Click on something. So what happens? Only one line has been interfaced into AR actually. That only you will be able to see as a bill now. So once when this is completed, once when it is what happens, it will be notifying the source system automatically, and then the line gets closed. And then the CSR's activity is complete. And remember in EBIS, once when you run the workflow background, it gets closed. Yet only upon import order invoice, the line gets closed. It has to succeed also. Notify the feeder system of the receivables transaction time over there. It will now notify the OM now. Click on it now. The execution report is going to go there. You click on refresh now. Now, this is awaiting billing ship to ship. Now, all the things will be closed. You can see it's now built, it's no ship ship now. And then, if you refresh it, everything will be closed to it. I'm not refreshing it. It's not built at all. It'll not get closed. Close, close, close. CSR has completed his activity. He will not take away his commission and then go away. <coughs> now, if you go there and see on this place now, go to this place, and then what happens? You go there and then query on this one. Go to the receivables now. The billing. In the receivables billing, if you go and have a look at it now, and then in this place, if you go there, go to the manage transaction on this one. You click on the manage transaction and then query on two parameters. In EBS also, we had to query on two parameters. Here also the same thing. The reference number is what? 49214 now. 49214. And then this is a do. Drop it down and then make it a do. <coughs> do. And then click on it. There, what happens? The reference number and date is sufficient. Here, what happens? The do is now. Click on search now. If you go okay, search on it, you know, if you click on it now, it will show only one line. The model is only billable now. So you can now see the model is billable at $78 and not the shipped part. But again, this, uh, what happens is not a correct workaround. I am now feeling somewhat not very comfortable upon this workaround. This is what the Oracle has given the workaround for the ship set, arrival set, and fulfillment set. So Vijay says that what happens, this will be coming in the month of July now. So that is what 13.19. Uh, what happens at 07 actually, <clears throat> 11, 13, 19, 0, 7. In this they will be bringing it in the full fledged fashion actually, in, in, in fusion actually. 
So till then, I'm all of us, we had to work only on this one. So now we have completed all the activities on the what I must say, your order entry also fine. So, go there. <clears throat> so uh, we have completed all the uh, advanced order entry activities now, and advanced shipping execution also we have completed everything now. And now we have to jump into pricing. So tomorrow we will be jumping into pricing, and then afterwards what happens? Now going to global order pricing. Also. So any doubts? <clears throat> Hey, Mohan, you're not gone for the office now. You got stuck. <laughs> so no yes, sir, I'm in office only, sir. No oh, you are in office only. <laughs> okay, okay. It's night shift, actually. Yeah. Okay, sir. I'm just leaving, sir. For the okay. Thank bye. you, sir. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Any other doubts for anybody? So, if there is no other doubts, we'll now meet tomorrow and then we'll not start. Yeah. Hey, Nana, 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 very quick, Rajesh here. So, tomorrow yeah. are we going to start with the pricing? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. that would be your, that would be our first session on the pricing or you earlier also covered the pricing? Yeah, we have covered something. We have, we have covered something, right? The setups have been covered already. How to perform the setups of the pricing has already been covered. Now, the product pricing is going to come up. If you can go on and have a look at it, I'm not sure that it's really. So you have to okay. watch these videos now, basically. If you go up now, fine, go down this place. The setups have already been covered, actually. Okay, go, okay. Uh, in this place. All right. See, here, how to do this. Fine. How the pricing begins with the order entry activities. When you start it, what happens, we now go there. So manage pricing parameter the first activity. Then what happens, we now go there. Uh, we'll now go in this place. Fine. Then the pricing lookups. Then afterwards, what happens? The pricing admission, customer pricing profiles, then the pricing segments, pricing strategies, etc., etc. Everything has been completed. So okay, the okay, setups okay. on the pricing is completed. Just watch the video name now, and the video will be having okay. a, what happens, a name also. So those videos you can go and then watch it, and afterwards only you can. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, right. Thank you. Yeah. Any other doubts? <clears throat> Good then, fine. We'll now meet again tomorrow and then we'll now continue on pricing and advanced pricing. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.